was not the result you wanted today. Uh, what did you make of the game initially afterwards? Yeah, look, I thought it um, to three quarter time was a really even game. Um, uh, yeah, I think it was 16 points at half time and 24 points at three quarter time. I thought the second quarter we probably controlled the game. We had the game on our terms. We just probably our inability to score and, and take our chances and um, probably killed us in the end. I thought at half time the game was it should have been even um, and it wasn't. Um, 16 point deficit, um, 24 at three quarter time, and then you know we get the centre bounce first centre bounce in the last quarter. We kick it inside 50 and we drop a chest mark goes up the other end. They kick a goal and we kill our momentum again. You know I just thought it was one of those games where today we. We just lacked a little bit of polish moving the ball forward, um, and we didn't take, the, or we didn't make the most of our our opportunities and the momentum when we had it. And looked Lord and had an extremely good team offensively, and they, they hurt us on the back of those. Not if you had the answers, it wouldn't happen. But is there anything you can put uh, not taking the most of those opportunities down to? Was the pressure from Lord Bell or just? Um, yeah, I thought there was. Well, obviously the, the game was the pressure was pretty good around the ball. I thought that sometimes we were out and it just out it probably wasn't much so much out kicking. It was probably we just didn't put it in an area to the ground that allows us to defend. Like we'd either score or the ball would be rebounded out. Now uh, we don't need to make sure when we go inside 50 that we can, you know, at least lock the ball in there and press up. Um, you know, if we if we make it a shootout, Lauderdale will beat us every time. We've got to actually slow the game down. Um, we've been able to do that a lot down at Lauderdale. Um, today we went able to do it um, and they get the chocolates. Yourself a late withdrawal from today, is that just soreness or an injury? Or? Yeah, look, I just had a bit of um, bit of a tender calf. So, um, you know, if that had been a must win or a final, I'd play. But um, we've been pretty cautious with guys that have, have been under injury clouds and given them an extra week. So that's just that. You know, if we didn't have the bye, I'd, I'd play this weekend coming. Um, so, yeah, it'll be good to go for North Hobart after the bye. So Speedy back in the oh, back in the team a couple of weeks ago, got on the end of a few goals today. You happy with the way he's Yeah, look, I thought Speedy was really good today. I thought his his crumbing especially was really good off the pack. Um, when we actually got the ball in there deep and allowed him to do what his thing is, which is crumb the ball and um, be really dangerous at ground level. I thought he was actually really good today um, for limited opportunity. Um, so look, that's a that was a good. Um, I suppose a good thing to take out of the game today. I thought Keegan Wiley was okay. He's only going to get better for the game. Um, we noticed a couple of times just his kicking ability over the back six was really good. Um, so look, there's some positive to take out of the game. Uh, look, disappointing to lose. We never want to lose, especially to our arch rival on our home ground. But it's early July. Um, you know, we know the areas of the game we fell down today. We'll get better over the ball and we'll come out ready to go for North Hobart. Tom Birchall looked to go off the field earlier on in the game. Um, can you give us an update on his? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I think he got a bit of a falcon and um, <laughs> I think it knocked him out. So, uh, look, he's been a really good addition to our team this year. Um, he's obviously our best and fairest winner in development last year and he's been pinch hitting in the ruck and up forward. Um, so, yeah, he got a bit of a falcon and knocked him out. So, um, yeah, he'll go off with. Um, do the right protocol tonight and hopefully get him back after the bye, should be fine. You mentioned the bye coming up, I think it's coming at a good time for you? Yeah, look, a really good time. Um, we should get some soldiers back from after the bye. Um, obviously, Fraser Turner's otherwise commitments are over. he got a good couple of weeks and then he'll be back. Um, Ryan Edmondson played his first full game today in the development, so we're excited to get him back in. And um, Obviously, Jackson and myself should be pretty much right to go for North Hobart, which is uh, yeah, good to get our vice-captain back into the time. Cheers. Russell Brownie, um, arch rivals at Blonson Arena, uh, State Chatty Cup today, you must be really pleased with that game. Yeah, I think so, and uh, I know it means a lot uh, to the boys because um, Tig was one of a, a good friend of a lot of the players in our side, so it does mean a lot to them, and um, yeah, I know they take that uh, took that into the game today. Do you think that was probably uh, the most consistent four-quarter performance from the team this year? No, no, I actually thought our first half was terrible. We started really well, uh, we got on top of them early and we thought we had all the momentum. We, we thought we blew a good opportunity to probably put four or five on the board and, and we allowed them back into the, to the game to play the way they want to play and played it on their terms. So I think Jesus said before, going into half time, it probably should have been even and, and it probably should have been because they probably outplayed us in the second quarter. Um, we changed a few things up at half time and that sort of probably got us back on, on track to how we wanted to play. Heard from yourself and Josh McGuinness earlier in the year that the team probably wasn't uh, finishing games off the way they would have liked in the fourth quarters. So I think it was six goals to two. Were you pleased with the way the boys run the game out today? Yeah, I think, look, I think we've run games out well. It's just sometimes it feels like you're, you're not where you're chasing all day. And the first two times we've played Clarence, we've kicked 
you know, eight goals, 15, or seven goals, 19. And today we kicked 18 goals, eight. So when you actually kick straight, it makes a big difference, puts the pressure back on the opposition to, to come up with the answers. And there's a few times there in the third quarter where it was goal for goal. And um, you know, once we got a couple together and put a bit of a gap in, it, it makes a big difference. It actually demoralizes the opposition. Uh, Four back today, a lot was made of him coming back into the team during the week. How did you see his performance? Uh, yeah, I thought he was really good. You know, he blew up a little bit uh, throughout the game, which is expected. You know, he broke his foot in January. He's really only started his training back in the last month, so he's missed a lot of footy and a lot of training. But no, he was good. He started really well, and look, we probably got more out of him today than we thought we would. But he just provides a presence uh, down forward that it, it's hard to combat. You know, the opposition coach, do you play a tall on him? Do you play a small on him? Because he, you know, creates headaches for both. Tuta Havaya back for the second week now. Are you pleased with the way he's coming along as well? Yeah, look, Toe's um, Toe's been outstanding, and you know he had a bit interrupted preseason. He looked at going back and playing at a lower level. We finally talked him around into playing, and you know he's he's still really young in terms of his football career, and his overhead you know, strength is really good. You know he's taken a lot of good marks, and he's just a big boy. He you know, provides a presence around the ground as well. Nasty injury to Alex Hill uh, in the first half. Uh, can you give us an update on? Yeah, it looks like he dislocated his elbow. Uh, we won't know the extent of the injury until he gets an X-ray. So he's actually gone to hospital with uh, a dislocation, and um, they'll see how much damage it's done before they try and put it back in. So hopefully, it's as much as this doesn't sound real nice, but a clean dislocation, and then they just you know, slide it straight back in. So Glenorchy next week, you uh, I guess pleased with the way the group's coming along this stage of the season. Yeah, look, we're starting to get some cohesion now. We've got guys that are getting games under their belt and playing well together. And, you know, we get uh, a couple of Mariner boys back next week, which also gives us a bit of a headache at selection, given how the team's playing. And um, you know, last time we played Glenorchy, it was probably our best game for the year. So we'll go into that game with confidence and um, hopefully, you know, get, get two wins on them.